present. Good morning to each and every one of you. Let me welcome you to this morning's workshop on the use of technology in the primary classroom. And it is intended for you, teachers of the primary school system. This, these are the topics for our presentation this morning, the main points. So, let me welcome you once again. As we sail through the 21st century, technology in the classroom are becoming more predominant. Tablets are replacing our textbooks, and we can research just about anything that we want on our smartphone. Social media has become commonplace, and the way we use technology has completely transformed the way we live our lives. Educators, too, have seen firsthand the benefits of technology in the classroom. According to a study done by the IT Trade Association of Canada, which was released just last month, around 75% of educators think that technology has a positive impact in the education system. Educators also recognize the importance of developing these technological skills in students so they will be able to better function in the workplace after completing school. The impact that technology has had on our schools today has been quite significant. This widespread adoption of technology has completely changed how teachers and students learn. Teachers are learning how to teach with emerging technologies, for example, the iPad, the tablet, smartphone, and even the computer, while students are using advanced technology to shape how they learn. By embracing and integrating technology in the classroom, we are setting our students up for a successful life outside of school. What then is technology? Technology is a body of knowledge devoted to creating tools, processing actions, and extracting materials. The term technology is wide, and everyone has their own understanding and meaning of the word technology. We use technology to accomplish various tasks in our daily lives. In brief, we can describe technology as products, processes, and organizations. We use technology to extend our ability, and that makes people the most important part of any technological system. Technology in the classroom refers to the use of laptops, computers, tablets, television, PowerPoint, and yes, the old-fashioned radio. Here are some advantages of using technology in the classroom. Technology makes learning fun. Students prefer technology because they believe it makes learning more interesting and fun. They especially like laptops and tablets. Subjects that students deem challenging or boring can become more interesting when virtual lessons through a video or tablet are being taught. Technology prepares students for the future. Using technology in the classroom will help prepare students for the digital future. These 21st century skills are essential in order to be successful in this day and age. Jobs that may not have had a digital component in the past may have one now. Education isn't just about memorizing facts and vocabulary words. It is solving complex problems and being able to collaborate in the workplace. Technology in the classroom prepares students for their future and sets them up right for this increasing digital economy. Technology helps improve retention rate. As mentioned before, technology makes learning fun. With the use of visual aids and other electronic resources, students will better remember what was taught. Technology helps students learn at their own pace. For example, almost all apps allow for individual instruction. Students can learn according to their abilities and needs. This form of teaching is also great for the teacher because it gives them the time to work individually with students who may be struggling. Technology connects with students. Technology occupies an important place, an important part in students' lives. When they are not in school, 
just about anything they do is connected in some way with technology. By integrating technology into the classroom, teachers are changing the way they used to teach and they're providing students with tools that will take them into the 21st century. Technology caters for different learning styles and we have the visual learner. The visual learner prefers to see content to understand it. It is a learning style in which ideas, thoughts, concepts, processes and other, and other information are represented and associated with images, charts, graphs and videos. Technology caters for the visual learner by providing visual aids through the use of PowerPoint, video, and even the monitor of the computer screen of the, of the computer will help conceptualize what they are learning. This will also help with better understanding and better retention. The auditory learner. Auditory learning is a process of acquiring knowledge through listening. Students listen to the lectures in, in class so they can get knowledge of a particular concept. It makes it easy for them to understand the concepts that are being taught from the textbooks. Technology caters for the auditory learner by allowing students to listen to videos, recordings, and other auditory devices. This will help auditory learners better conceptualize what they are learning and will also help with retention. In conclusion, we apply technology in almost everything we do in our lives. We use technology at work. We use technology to extract materials. We use technology for communication, transportation, learning, manufacturing, creating artifacts, securing the, um, data, scaling businesses, and so much more. As teachers, let us use technology to make teaching and learning meaningful. As teachers, let us use technology to meet the needs of our students. As teachers, let us use technology to make learning fun and enjoyable. Let us move into the 21st century of teaching and learning. I thank you. Let me thank you very much for your undivided attention and your interest in my workshop this afternoon. And if you would like to do further research on my topics, this, these are my references in which I acquired my information. I thank you.